Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix mixed content errors on your WordPress website. I'm going to cover one, how to do the search and replace against your database to update the bulk of your content, and then I'm going to be showing you how to resolve it for specifically on Elementor based websites by using the tools found in Elementor. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to click add new and I am working on my live website, but I have backups automatically. Make sure you attempt a backup of your database using something like Updraft Plus. We're gonna install search and better search and replace. This is my go-to plugin if I need to run any search and replace queries against the database. And then I just uninstall it when I no longer need it. We're gonna click install, give it the minute, activate. Now, what you need to do is you need to copy your URL as is. If you already have it set to HTTPS, I'll show you what you need to change. You've got a better search and replace, and you're gonna search for remove the trailing slash and then make sure it's over http for the search for query and then replace with make sure that you change to https and we're just going to search against all the database tables and we're going to run it as a dry run first which will let you know if it finds anything that does need to be updated and then if we do see that there's something that needs to be updated we'll go ahead and uncheck the run is dry run which will make it run and actually make the changes the primary thing to watch out here is that you make sure that your search for and your replace with are exactly as my description right up above, but that you're only changing it for your specific domain. If you have a trailing slash, you can get some weird issues with the replacing. If you don't include www, then you can just strip www out or you'll have www twice, depending on what kind of replace with query you run. So as you can see, it ran it against 69 tables and it found 6,899 cells that needed to be updated. So we wanna double check, make sure that these are exactly one-to-one -one, with the only change being to the HTTPS. This does look to be correct. So now we're gonna run it as a search and replace. Just remember that when you took your, your backup either via your hosting panel or via Updraft Plus, you'll be able to restore it in case you don't have it correctly inserted up above. You'll let it run it, the query, depending on your host, it should take a couple of minutes. For larger websites, it may take 10, 15 minutes. Totally normal, it shouldn't time out in most situations unless you have a really bad host. We're letting it run, and now it's updated. Now, the great thing about this is we did basically everything else. So the bulk of the updates are run, if you wanna see. Um, Let's just see if we can reload this. So we had any HTTP URLs are gonna be set to HTTPS. But the most important thing is the Elementor part. Elementor does not get updated via a standard search and replace. And this has to do with the way that Elementor stores data in its, in its tables, in the tables. And as it mentions here, they say it's relevant for domain transfers or move to HTTPS. I see this a lot with websites where they may use SSL and secure content fixer, or they will do a search and replace against the database, but they forget to do Elementor. Elementor is very difficult to work with. So what you need to do, and honestly, these fields are too small in my opinion to read, but you need to make sure that you're pasting that URL in. So it's HTTP www, your, your website as it is, and then you're gonna do the new URL Copy the, copy the other URL if you need to, and then just scroll back and put the S in. So this is a one-to-one -one replacing. It's searching for the www HTTP version, and we're replacing it with the HTTPS version. We're gonna run the replace, and it says it found zero rows, which means my pages were already built with it. Yours may have some that were updated, and then just make sure you reload your page a couple times to make sure everything loads correctly. You don't have any errors. If you have any errors, restore using Updraft Plus or whatever you took a backup with. And uh, otherwise, you're all set. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure to like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.